Hello boys and girls, welcome, welcome. I'm Father Kuzma, happy to be with you on this beautiful Friday morning, November 11th. Do you know what day it is? It's a very special day, I'm sure you know, but I'll tell you about it anyway. Boys and girls, grades kindergarten 1 and 2. Welcome and let's begin with a prayer. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So, boys and girls, today is November 11th, and you know that November 11th is a very special day. It's called a Remembrance Day. Do you know what that means? Do you know what it means to remember? I'm sure you do. To remember is to use our ability to think about what happened before today. So we think we can remember what we did yesterday. And we can think about it today. So, in a very special way, to remember is to think about the past, to think about what happened in the past. And that's a beautiful gift. Our memory is a beautiful gift that God gave us. But, you know, our memory can be used for good things and for bad things. Did you know that? So, how do we use our memory? How do we remember so that we do good things. Well, we have to remember good things. It's important to remember good things. How someone forgave me, or maybe I helped my mom and dad, or maybe I'm staying positive about what happened yesterday and the day before and the day before. And we always want to use our memory for good by remembering the good things and not worrying about Maybe the mistakes I made yesterday, or bad things that I did yesterday, or someone did. That's when we would use our memory in a bad way. We don't want to remember negative things, because if we do, then that will uh, keep us down. That will make us sad. And we don't want to be sad. We want to be happy. And so we have to use our memory for good things. Remembering the good. Remembering what God did for us in the past, how he blessed us. Remembering that um, even if we made mistakes in the past, that's okay. We can correct them. We can fix them. We always have an opportunity going into the future. So uh, Remembrance Day is a special day that we celebrate every year when we remember the good that Uh, people did for us and for our country, our country Canada. And so in a special way, we remember all the men and women, all the soldiers who fought for our freedoms, who went in order to protect the children and the families here in Canada and all around the world. And that's so beautiful, is for us to remember that there were people in the past who did really courageous things and beautiful things so that we can be free and so that we can live in peace. And so that's what we do today. We pray for the soldiers, those who fought for our freedom, those who went to protect others, to protect those who couldn't fight for themselves. And that's why it's so beautiful to remember uh, the sacrifices those of those people who did did so much for us. So I hope you say a prayer today for all the soldiers who fought for our freedom. It's very important to remember that uh, many people did important things for us. So that's the Remembrance Day. That's the day we celebrate today. We pray for the soldiers who fought for our freedom and for the freedom and goodness of those who couldn't fight for themselves. That's a beautiful thing. Now, I also want to share with you this story because it's an important story 
uh, as we continue in our Bible series, the Bible story about Moses and how Moses also was in trouble and he needed someone to come and fight for him. And guess who came to help Moses fight against evil people? It was God. God helped Moses. And we have this beautiful story about the crossing of the Red Sea. Now listen to this story and how important and beautiful it is. The waves roll back. The next day the Israelites left Egypt and camped by the Red Sea. By the Egyptian army, but the Egyptian army chased them. God said, Moses, stretch out your stick over the sea. Tell the people to go forward. Moses obeyed God and waters rolled back and the Israelites crossed on dry ground. Hooray, they shouted on the other side. God has rescued us. Look at that. Can you see the waters on both sides? And how they just opened up and created a path? And then the Israelites who were poor and who didn't have any weapons to fight for themselves. And they were being chased by these the army of the Egyptians with swords and all sorts of dangerous things. They're chasing after them and God is fighting for them. He's letting them through the sea and then he will close the sea so the Egyptian army cannot cross over. That's how beautiful God's story is. He always fights for us. He helps us. He helps those who can't help themselves. Just as he helped Moses and the chosen people, he also helps us if we pray, if we try to be good, if we remember the good things and stay close to Jesus. So boys and girls, on this Remembrance Day, I pray for you. I bless you. And I hope you have a wonderful day. I'm going off now to say a prayer uh, during our Remembrance Day ceremony at by the library at City Hall so that we can pray with all the local soldiers for those who have died for us. So I hope that you have a great day and that you say a prayer for all the soldiers on this Remembrance Day. God bless you and I'll see you again next week. Bye.